Hello and welcome to the Colorite aerosol can instructional video. Today we're going to demonstrate how to repair a damaged part and how to refinish an already painted part. I'm going to show you how to repair a road rash area on the sparing piece. You begin with the 600 grit sandpaper from the combo pack. Work the area until it's smooth. This is going to take a little while with this because the road rash was fairly heavy. Now that I've smoothed this surface out with the 600, it's time to move to the 800 and then remove the gloss that's on this piece. Just need to knock the gloss down. Do the entire area that you're going to be painting. Now that we're done sanding with the 800, you'll notice that there's no glossy spots and we have to wipe it down to get rid of any sanding dust. At this point, we're going to be using the wax and grease remover, so we have to put our gloves on. Shake the can well, spray it on a clean cloth. Wipe the part down in one direction, cover everything so there's no dirt or dust. Now we're going to use a tack cloth to get any other remaining contaminants off of it. Tack cloth is very sticky and it will pick up dust, lint, dirt, anything. The next step is to test the color before you paint your part. I already did a spray out on this card. You can use anything that the paint will not soak into, but it's very important to test your color before you proceed. You look at this, it's a good color match. We're ready to move on to the next step. Now it's time to begin spraying the primer. This area right here, where we're down to bare plastic, is very important. But we're going to cover the whole taped off area. But you got to get this, because this is bare plastic, very, very important. We're going to begin spraying now. When spraying, use light, even strokes. Now that the first coat is dried for about 10 minutes, you can see we have a couple light spots. So we need to add another coat to make sure we have thorough coverage. Now we're going to go over the primary area with the tack cloth again. The color that we're working with is a three-step color. It's got a white base, a gold top, and then the clear coat. This is the white base. You shake the can well, two to three minutes. We waited about 15 minutes. We're ready to apply our second coat of the base color. Making sure you cover every area thoroughly. You don't want to have any bare spots, anything where you see the primer coming through. So we've waited about 30 minutes for this to dry. We've inspected the part to make sure everything is covered. So take the tack cloth again, go over it, remove your dust. So we're ready for the next step. We're now ready to apply the mid coat of this three stage color. With this one, it's a goldish yellow color. This goes over the white base. The white base brightens the yellow, and gives it that pop. Shake your can well. When spraying, use light, even strokes. So we've let this first coat dry. It's even, covered well, but it's not dark enough. So we need to add another coat. Okay, the final painting step now is clear coat. Go over this again with the tack cloth. Shake the can well. Just like all the other steps, light, even strokes. First coat of clear is dried, we're ready for the second one. Usually two coats is perfect. Any more, and the paint might not dry thoroughly. Once this is dried for four or five days, you'll be ready to use the polishing compound on it. Now we're gonna begin work on this other part. This one has no damage, we're just doing a color change. Changing it from this blue to Kawasaki green. So for this, all we have to do is some sanding. Take the thousand grit sandpaper from the sandpaper combo pack and begin sanding. Now that we've finished sanding the part, we have to wipe it down to get all the dust off of it. Inspect it to make sure that the entire piece has been sanded properly. This one has, so we're ready to proceed with the wax and grease remover. Shake it up, spray it on the clean rag, wipe the part off. This removes any dirt, contaminants, anything that it can interfere with the paint job. This part, because it had no damage, we don't need to prime it. But what we are going to use is a Bulldog Adhesion Promoter. 
You shake this up well and spray the entire part down. Before we proceed, we check the color against the motorcycle to make sure it was a good match. It was, so we're ready to paint the part. The adhesion promoter is now dried, so we're ready for the first coat of the Kawasaki Green. Like always, shake the can well, usually two to three minutes. Just how we've done every other color. Light, even coats, thoroughly covering the part. Okay, we've waited about 15 minutes. The first coat is dry, so we're ready for our second. Same procedure, light, even coats. The final step to the paint job is clear coat. Clear coat offers UV protection, it makes the paint cure, and it makes the paint shiny. It's very important to clear coat your paint job. As always, shake the can for three to four minutes, light, even strokes, just as when you were painting the part with the color. Okay, we've let this first coat of clear coat dry for about 20 minutes. So we're ready to apply our second. So we've demonstrated how you can repair a damaged area or do a complete color change using Colorite aerosols. Every product that you saw here today can be found at www.colorite.com. In addition to touch-up pens, touch-up bottles, and aerosol cans, we also offer a full range of professional-sized packaging for larger body panels or complete vehicle paint jobs. 